What's going on, everybody? I am your host, the Wolf of Crypto. You guys are back for another episode here today. Uh, in today's episode, before I actually really get into it, if this is your guys' first time actually kind of scrolling over to my channel, please hit that thumbs up button if you are enjoying this content. And then also don't forget to share with your friends in case, you know, anybody out there is trying to get into the crypto space. But nonetheless, let's get into this particular video here today. Won't be not too long. Uh, I'm going to just kind of give like a really quick overview of this particular platform here because, again, this is one of those platforms that actually is a part of the selling the airdrop season, right? So I won't really go into too much in depth on probably all the little nicks and nacks and features of this particular platform. Like I said, just kind of want to give you a quick overview of the video, how you can participate in this particular airdrop, what you really need, and things like that. So let's go ahead, right? So right here, we got Margin Five. Uh, as you can see right here, this is a decentralized particular platform. So we are in the DeFi world here on the Solana ecosystem. I've only been using this platform for about, give or take, maybe maybe about a week, right? Um, for me right now, as you can kind of see, as we come down here, you can kind of see my portfolio and quite as kept, they have been making some little minor updates uh, to the platform here. And this is one of them actually. This, normally when you would come down to this particular place, as far as supply borrowed, Normally you would have like different options as far as you know which kind of coin you want to select. It looks like here they kind of condensed that and made it a little bit more easier. Um, obviously, you can see now after going click on that drop down, all the different tokens that are available to um, land and stuff like that. Uh, as you see, the gl global pools, isolated pools, shows you the APR and stuff like that. So it looks like they kind of condensed it a little bit, not particularly sure how I kind of feel about it so far because uh, if we were to click on BSO, obviously it's showing that it's efficient BSO my wallet um, thing is it's not showing if the deposit pool is filled up um, that's one feature I kind of noticed that's uh, that they kind of got rid of I'm not entirely too sure why but nonetheless this is kind of the tea with the video so you guys are seeing what I'm doing right now. I'm supplying three tokens and that's kind of being nice because obviously the blaze, not too much value in that one. The USDC actually might move it, uh, might put it on a different platform. Uh, as you see, I've been really attacking BSOL here, uh, putting a lot of BSOL on the platform because that's actually how I'm getting my blaze rewards. Um, blaze is another, <laughs> another token that's attached to another platform. That's part of another airdrop as well. So you'll definitely be seeing me uh, make a video about B-Soul, Soul Blaze and all that good stuff. But again, this is kind of your main dashboard here as far as your lending and borrowing goes. Um, again, I know we're right here. If you want to change it to borrow, simply click this, select your token, and it kind of gives you an idea of, you know, which particular pools you can participate in. Obviously I'm borrowing geo sold because of the apr apr is pretty low on that side so again we supply to a particular platform to this protocol you are going to be earning again some lending from that side so you're an interest right you're an interest and then as far as staking goes uh you can stake the liquid staking token by obviously using your solana uh, not for sure i would i would think um that by staking on this platform that's going to also tie into your points, but it's kind of hard to tell because when we get to the point system in a little bit here, um, it doesn't show anything or mention anything about gaining points for staking. So that's maybe one of the reasons why I haven't staked uh, anything yet on this particular platform, because I feel like right now, obviously, I'm trying to do as much activity as possible to collect points to get prepared for these particular airdrops. Put myself in a good position to, you know, yeah, decent chunk of change, right? And then swapping. Now, uh, I haven't swapped on here yet. Have, it's powered by Jupiter. Um, again, I'm not sure if this particular activity is a part of the airdrop, right? Because I'm not really trying to do things that are not part of the airdrop. We're simply here on a mission objective, 
try to do as much as we can to get these airdrops. And uh, as far as bridging goes, you do have that opportunity to bridge on this platform. And again, I'm not gonna go into the necessary detail about that here today. Just kind of want to give you an overview of the platform. Cause again, this is a platform that we'll be using, I would say um, beyond the airdrop as well. Cause I do like the functionality of the platform. Everything's pretty easy, simple. Um, and then as you can see right here, this, this is the point system. So obviously I will be leaving a link down below in the description here. If you guys want to go ahead, help me out, climb the, uh, the rankings and help yourself out too. Because again, everything that you do on this platform, you're putting yourself in position for an airdrop. Obviously the more liquidity that you have, probably the better position you'll be put in. But again, I understand everybody's positioning is different. So um if you don't have too much liquidity i would just say don't be prepared for maybe like a massive airdrop but i have seen people say you know they have taken 100 bucks or whatever and turned that into five figures doing airdrop farming and airdrop hunting so um and then as you see right now my rank right now is at 36,206. obviously we're trying to get that here boosted but as you can see the borrowing point side is a lot higher uh, if I'm not mistaken, when it comes to their point system on the borrowing side, I want to say it's a one to four, uh, meaning that every dollar that you lend, uh, you'll be getting four points for that. On the lending side, every dollar that you lend, you get one point. So that's where the discrepancy is as far as why my borrowing points is a little bit higher than my lending points, because obviously I'm supplying a lot more, right? But I'm only borrowing, a, like I said, a couple hundred dollars. I might change here in the day or two, give or take. I don't have any referral points yet. Definitely going to hope to start to see that kind of go up because I know that's going to kind of affect my ranking as well. So, like I said, this is a platform that I'm really excited about. Um, again, this is one of the platforms that is a part of the airdrop season. And uh, as far as last but not least, collecting your Blaze rewards. Uh, let's see if it's going to let me do that. Let me log in here real quick. Yeah, so if I want to receive my Blaze Rewards, I got 6.27. That's chilling right now. I'm just going to cancel that. Um, and the Blaze Rewards have been coming in pretty heavy right now. And I'm a little, sh not really shocked, but based off of what I'm supplying, didn't really know how that particular reward would go. But it's nice to see that it's going pretty well. And uh, if I'm not mistaken, like I said, the Blaze is having their own airdrop, so the way their airdrop works. Again, it's connected to these other platforms here, folks. So that's something that you definitely got to keep in mind, even though Rumi talking about and doing activity on all these different platforms, trust and believe that this activity across the board is going to help, is going to put you in a better position to get a bigger airdrop. So uh, that's probably going to wrap it up. Like I said, quick, short little overview video. I'll definitely probably make a, longer video just kind of going a little bit more in depth as far as like lending staking maybe some of how the functionalities work kind of showing you guys how to do certain things uh, on the platform and stuff like that so if you guys are actually are interested in that particular type of content definitely leave some comments down below uh but yeah like i said that's gonna really wrap it up for this particular video again margin five this is one of those protocols that is part of the airdrop season that's currently going on right now um it's not gonna last forever so definitely take advantage while the airdrops are happening right now and shoot that's really it here folks um if, like i said if you guys did enjoy the content leave a thumbs up hit that like button share it with your friends subscribe to the channel if you are new and in if you are a returner appreciate you guys coming back to the channel and again don't forget to hit that bell why because you will be notified for any new content that drops out from the channel. So, like I said, without further ado, I am your host, The Wolf of Crypto. You guys are tuned in to another episode on The Wolf of Crypto channel. And until the next time, y'all stay safe out there, man. And don't forget, not your keys, not your wallet. Peace.